People have been trying to think outside of the box when it comes to stopping concussions for some time now. Gerald Maher, team dentist for the New England Patriots, took that to a new level, looking inside the mouth. Not only has his invention, the Maher Guard, worked for New England, but for others, like Hershey Bears dentist Andrew Gould. We've never seen numbers like this with anything, helmet, mouth guard, etc., until now. On Tuesday, Gould spoke in Chambersburg to a group of dental professionals about how the guard has been so successful for Hershey. When our mouth opens, an articular disc comes in there and slides, not only does the condyle go from a weak portion of the, of the skull into the strongest, thickest portion of the skull, but it also has the articular disc coming into that location. So he said to himself, why, how can I, upon impact, keep a jaw open so that disc stays there to protect the brain? So that's when he developed this. This goes on the lower. All right, there's an upper that's like it, but it goes on the, this one goes on the lower. And it sits right in through here, as Sally will demonstrate. So now, the jaw is open three to four millimeters. The teeth are together because of impact, but the condyle is on the thickest part of the skull, and the articular disc is now in place. So the energy not just goes bone up to bone, but now it goes bone to thick bone to articular disc. When Andrew Gould took over as the dentist for Hershey Bears Hockey in 2009, the team had averaged 56 to 98 combined games lost to concussions per season. Since Gould implemented this mouth guard, the team has only lost 18 games over the past five seasons, including none this past winter. There's still a lot of people that don't understand concussions and what causes them, how we take care of them, what it does to, especially in our situation, a teenager's body. Chambersburg trainer Chastity Johnson was sold on the guard and the safety it could provide Trojan athletes in the future. I think this would be a wonderful product to come to Chambersburg. Um, I think the cost, those kind of things are going to play a part, but hopefully as these things grow, costs will start to come down and these will be affordable for our children. In Chambersburg, I'm Jeff Kolb, POTV.